think it's about to go off. What an explosion of color! First up, take a Ziploc folder. Make a drawing with a permanent marker on one side. An octopus, a crab, corals, seaweed. Who else lives in the sea? Color the seabed with markers. Take a dark piece of cardboard and put it inside the folder like this. And now take a few pieces of paper and glue them together to make a flashlight. Be sure the beam of light is made of white paper. Let's test the flashlight. Put it inside the folder. Light up the bottom of the ocean. Who's here? What about here? Ooh! There's so much going on underwater! And now take a sheet of paper with a sketch of a maple leaf. Go over the outline of the drawing with a capillary pen. Draw the streaks and start to fill in the drawing. Draw the lines neatly and not too thick. Change the direction of the lines for each new area. You can draw any picture in this style. Use your imagination and experiment. Also, these drawings are very good for relieving stress. For this idea, you will need gouache. Lay out a drop of each color on paper using a wooden stick. Like this, with dark shades at the top and light ones at the bottom. Next, use a wide brush to distribute the paint across the sheet. Apply strokes all over so the background is uniform. Now make a neat frame and get a thin brush. Make stars using white paint on a dark background. And now take black paint and draw the horizon. Add silhouettes of trees and houses. Wait for the paint to dry. Just look! It doesn't take a lot of effort to make something amazing. Be sure to comment below how long it took you to draw a picture like this. Next, take a sheet of blue paper and a capillary pen. Draw a large whale a big head, a tail, a fin, and an eye. Done! And now fill the whale with decorations. Let your imagination run free. Draw curls, circles, and spirals. Fill almost the entire body with doodles and take some markers. Color in your homemade coloring book however you want. The main thing is to make it how you like it. The final touch, color the blue belly. Do it carefully without getting out of the lines. Done! You can add a few small details. Now it's perfect. Hmm, turns out drawing isn't that hard. Keep practicing and maybe you'll end up in a museum someday. And for this idea, take some markers. Begin to color in the lower part of the paper with purple and use warm shades closer to the top. Apply strokes in a hurry like this. Now take a spray bottle with water and spray the picture. The colors start to blur. The result is a spectacular and beautiful gradient. When the paint is dry, add some more bright colors. Paint them on so that the center of the sheet gets a rich strip of color and add a black frame around it. Spray the image again. When the paint is dry, take a black marker and draw the outlines. An amazing picture emerges right in front of your eyes. The view from a dark cave to the sea and a fiery sunset. Would you like to be in a place like this? Don't put your markers away. You are about to use them again. Draw a few curves from the center of the paper like this. Draw long curls, a head, and a chest. Draw a girl's face and start doing her hair. Draw each strand in its own way with strokes and geometric patterns. Take a different marker and draw more strands. Color them. More color and more strands. Continue to draw until the entire upper part of the sheet is filled in. Color the girl's shirt the same way. What a cool drawing! 
These geometric designs are magical. You can look at them forever, right? For this idea, you will need white tape and parchment paper. Cut off a small piece and stick it to the paper. Cut out butterflies of different sizes. And now, unstick the stencils and transfer them to plain paper. Put the butterflies on however you want. Next, take watercolors and a wide brush. Dilute the paint with water and draw a gradient background. Make one strip red and the next strip pink. Spread the paints on paper. And since the butterflies are slippery, the paint goes around them. And the result is a picture like this. Simple, but with style. And with butterflies. Slime is more than just a stress reliever. It's great for art, too. Take some regular clear slime and some paint. Put a drop of each color on the surface of the slime and make stamps on a piece of paper. Use the slime as a sponge. Dilute the main colors with bright ones. Put the stamps on each other. Whoa! It looks great! When the paint is dry, take a thin brush and write something inspirational. Done! After seeing your masterpiece, your mom will never say that slime is pointless again. You're welcome! And for this idea, take a few small square sheets of paper. Draw words in block letters on each sheet using markers. And now start turning the letters into pictures. Draw lines and connect some letters to each other. Use the others as separate elements like this. Just don't cross out the letters. You can add as many as you like. It's a good puzzle, right? Color the pictures. Try to guess what the code means. And how many more words can be hidden in the pictures? Share your ideas. For this idea, you will only need a couple of markers, a black one and a red one. Draw curls on a small piece of paper, line by line, curl after curl. Now, draw a comb with a red marker. Like this, with sharp teeth. And draw the same curls as below on the sides of the comb. And draw lines above it. It looks like the comb burst into the atmosphere. Red alert! We have an unidentified combing object on our radar. Draw a girl with an umbrella in the same style. Drawing optical illusions makes you feel like a magician. Now take a palette and fill it with paint. Dip your finger in the paint and make a bright strip on a wooden base. Hmm, not bad. Wipe your fingers and get some new paint. Draw a net, changing colors. Done! When the paint is dry, write something over the paint with a thin brush. You can write the letters in pencil first so they come out neater. Done! This picture can be set up on a shelf, or you can offer it to a friend. A sheet of graph paper seems perfect for drawing. Take markers and draw a pixel outline in black like this. You should get the sweetest unicorn! Now take colorful markers and color the picture. Blue hooves. A rainbow horn? Hey, this could be a character in a video game. With the right advertising campaign, it will be the star of the internet. For this idea, take a sheet of foam paper and an awl. Make a drawing on a sheet. Press on the tip, but try not to break the foundation. Take a foam roller. Coat it with paint like this. Roll it on the foam paper. This is magic! The picture appears right out of the paint. Simple and unusual. You wanted to draw, but you dropped your Nutella on the paper. Open the jar of Nutella and get a brush. Give the spot a rounded shape. Add shorts, 
legs, hair, hands, and a flower, an eye. Next, take white paint and draw a smile. This is Mike Wazowski, and he wants to remind you that you can find a way out even from the most unpleasant situations. Did you like our new art ideas? Which one will you try? Comment below. Subscribe to our channel, like this video, click on the bell, and share the link with your friends.